And since their arrest three days ago, six of them have already been granted bail. So now they're back out on the street, re potentially reoffending again. You know, it sounds like a joke. We've talked about the problems with the uh, car thefts. What actually happened here in our GTA jurisdiction? Some guy's up before a judge for having stolen a car, gets let off, and went into the parking lot of the courthouse and stole another car. You can't make this stuff up. And that's what gets people frustrated. But can you imagine what it does to our enforcement people that say, here we are doing what it takes, the countless hours, efforts, energy, risk, and then we find out it's a bit of a catch and release system. Uh, I must tell you, because you asked the question, I'm glad it is top of mind concern for my council and our mayors that everybody involved from the federal government on down needs to have a cold, hard look at what it is when we allow people who are the perpetrators of crime to freely go out and the record shows commit more crime while they're waiting for a hearing date. Some In Vancouver, they had to arrest the same 40 offenders 6,000 times. That's 150 arrests per offender per year. Each one of these guys is being arrested every second day. And those are the, just the crimes they're caught for committing. Then there's all the crimes they do that we don't even catch them on. So we have a pretty simple problem. There's a tiny group of people who do crime. That's good, but they're very productive. <laughs> That's bad. What's good though, is that that's okay, I'm good. We can throw them behind bars and they won't be able to reoffend. And so I'm gonna make it so that we're gonna pass a law making anyone with a long rap sheet ineligible for bail, parole, probation, or house arrest, jail.